Today's topic is primary and secondary immune response in the immunology lecture series. So what is immune response? There are two important functions of the immune system and that is to recognize the invading pathogens and then to destroy them. So immune response in relation to that is defined as the specific response induced in a host by an antigen and this is known as immune response. It is a protective mechanism of our body. So just like our country has various defense forces which protect the country from foreign invasion, similarly our body also protects us from the invaders such as bacteria, viruses, various pathogens and toxic compounds. It is of two types. One is the antibody mediated or humoral immune response which relies on B lymphocytes to produce soluble antibodies that will bind to the foreign antigen. The second type is the cell mediated immune response. It is uses the T lymphocytes that recognize and destroys the invading cells directly. The main focus of today's lecture is to discuss about antibody mediated immune response. The general characteristics of antibody mediated immune response are categorized into three types. First is self and non-self discrimination which means the body or the immune uh, system is able to distinguish between self and non-self and only reacts against non-self. It also has a memory which is the second characteristics of antibody mediated immune response. It remembers if it has seen the antigen before. The third is specificity. There is high degree of specificity uh, in these reactions mediated by the antibodies. A response to a particular antigen is specific for that antigen or group of antigens that are similar. The humoral or uh, antibody mediated immunity uh, in response to antigenic stimulus occurs in a phase wise manner. Let us take a look at that. So there are four phases of antibody production and we will see each one by one. So uh, the first phase is the lag phase and in this stage immediately following antigenic uh, stimulus uh, the uh, antibody detectable in circulation is uh, nil and so uh, you can see in this graph that there is hardly any antibody titer present in the lag phase. Lag phase is followed by the log phase and in the log phase the titer of antibody rises steadily followed by the plateau phase or the steady phase in which there is equilibrium between antibody synthesis and catabolism. This is followed by the decline phase during which the catabolism of immunoglobulin production and its titer falls down. So uh, this is the phase wise production of immunoglobulins in response to antigenic stimulus. Let us take a look at the primary and secondary immune response by antibody mediated immunity. So on the first exposure by an antigen is known as the primary antigenic exposure and the level of immunoglobulins in the initial stages is zero and as the body starts preparing to fight against the antigen the first immunoglobulin to be produced is the immunoglobulin m this entire process is known as the primary immune response and this is taking place inside the spleen and lymph nodes you can see that the pentavalent immunoglobulin m takes us some time to rise and it gradually declines. So the lag period after uh, the exposure to the antigen is usually between 4 to 10 days. However, the period is dependent upon the type of pathogen. In case of certain pathogens, the number of uh, days 
uh, in lag phase is much uh, more longer. Uh, the B cells that are involved in production of immunoglobulin M are known as the naive B cells and uh, the peak response takes around 7 to 10 days for immunoglobulin to reach its peak. Uh, the peak antibody response also depends upon the type of antigen. The uh, antigens are both thymus dependent and uh, independent. Antibody affinity is much lower and on the second exposure with the same antigen, the whole process is taking place chiefly in the bone marrow. By now, the body has created an uh, immunological memory for which the memory B cells are responsible and these B cells now produce immunoglobulin G for the first time. As you can see here, the uh, lag phase is uh, very low and uh, usually 1 to 3 days and the uh, peak response comes within 2 to 3 days and the peak is much higher in case of secondary immune response. The IgG is the predominant immunoglobulin and uh, secondary immune response is thymus dependent and uh, there is a small amount of immunoglobulin M also but its rate of decline is very quick and um, this is all about the